So yes, you're looking at a real human brain. Now what this excellent video is showing you is that on the surface of the brain there is actually a covering. There's three layers to the meninges. They're called the pia mater, arachnoid mater, and the dura mater. But when you peel all of that off, you actually start seeing all these squiggles on the surface of the brain, kind of like you're seeing right there. These squiggles are called gyri and sulci. The gyrus is actually the matter, the gray matter, that's actually on the surface of the brain, and the sulci are the grooves in between the gyri. Now, a lot of people seem to think that there's just a random assortment of squiggles associated with the brain, but believe it or not, all of our brains, more or less, are shaped the same, and we all have the same squiggles. There's a name to each of these peaks and valleys, and we have to know the names to all of them, and what they do, where they lead, where they come from. For example, this sulcus over here is actually called the central sulcus, and it's what separates the frontal lobe from the parietal lobe. This area over here is the motor cortex, and this area over here is actually the somatosensory cortex. If we're working near this area in surgery, we have to be able to identify that this is the part of the brain that controls movement for the other side of the body, and this is the part of the brain that controls sensation for that side of the body as well. There's a lot more local anatomical landmarks that we use in surgery to be able to identify where we are while we're performing the operation.